Pause. The Congress has hinted at fielding Bangalore rural MP DK Suresh from the Ramanagar constituency. Now, Karnataka Congress Chief DK Shivakumar has indicated his brother's entrance from the said constituency, which as of now remains to be the stronghold of JDS's HD Kumaraswamy. Now, this is going to be a challenge for Kumaraswamy's son, Nikhil Kumaraswamy, who is making his election debut in Ramanagar. Now, the entrance of, Shiv of Shiva Kumar's brother will spark an intense political face off. Now, while Ramanagar is the home district of Shiv Kumar and Suresh, for Kumaraswamy and their family, it is their Karma Bhumi. And due to this, it will become a battle between the two Vokaliga bigwigs in their own backyard. Proposal is there. But in a Kutkon and Matadila, Nanela to Matadweko, Newspeko and Tanagondo, Sun Sunday Shade, Asela, Sun Sunday Shade, in an Ano Yaratono Matadila, Sureshatu Matadila, Nam Karakatu Matadila, a local Karakatu Mukandrukura, Nanke, Paradin, the Wata Matadro, Nanke Sumne, by election Madadu, well, and Vistaila. But the other party held that I did not do that. Such a matter could be done. target to Chakravyuha, Solus Bay, when they come to do, even to the yard, we can't even do it. Because now, Janak Bosa, I am a pretty elderly Tiri, 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 Nirantruva, or Jotanal Kasukal Bagi. Even to Janan, I am a Visha Kordara, and that kind of do. We are being joined by CNN News 18's Aksha to get us more on this. Aksha, over to you. Uh, well, you see, as, uh, as you rightly mentioned, uh, it will be a tight contest uh, if D.K. Shukumar and the uh, Congress decides to uh, field D.K. Shukumar's brother, D.K. Suresh, in this particular Ramnagara constituency. Uh, already JDS has announced that uh, Nikhil Kumar Swami will be making his debut in the Ramnagara constituency uh, bo on both the D.K. Shukumar, D D. K. Shukumar and D.K. Suresh's uh, homeland, uh, Ramnagara, Old Mysore region, and they belong to the Okaliga community, and also Kumar Swami and the whole JDS has a strong support of the Okaliga community. So, uh, if, uh, if at all the Congress Congress decides to field DK Suresh uh, in this particular Ramnagara constituency against HD Kumar Swami's son Nikhil Kumar Swami. It will be a, a tight contest uh, to watch out for uh, uh, when these uh, both uh, candidates from the Congress and the JDS will lock horns uh, uh, in order to win this particular assembly. So there will be a keen focus on this particular uh, constituency. At the very same time, you have the BJP as well who is trying to make inroads into this old Mysore region, also trying very hard you know, to tap into the uh, OTA base of the Vakalikas as well. So uh, in this particular election, uh, keen focus will be on the constituencies of the old Mysore region here in Karnataka in the run-up to the 2023 assembly elections. Absolutely. Now, could you also explain some of the challenges that lie ahead when it comes to both the Congress and the BJP and the Karnataka assembly elections? Uh, can you please uh, repeat pardon? Sorry? Can you hear me? Absolutely. So would you also be able to explain some of the challenges that lie ahead for both the Congress and the BJP when it comes to Karnataka? Uh, well, you see, uh, if you take a look at the old Mysuru region, it's a stronghold of uh, uh, both the Congress and the JDS, and the BJP has not been able to make inroads into this. Uh, uh, here, uh, it com majorly comprises of the Okaliga community, the dominant land-owning community, uh, we who form a strong OTA share. So, uh, it, and they have traditionally backed either Congress or the JDS, the Okaliga leaders. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, now if you take a look at this uh, particular uh, you know, situation here, both are Okaliga leaders, both uh, belonging to Congress and the JDS. Who uh, know, have enjoyed the support of the Vokaligas. Uh, and the, uh, the, the focus here is now that the BJP is trying to make inroads into this uh, in order to get the Vokaliga voter share uh, so that uh, they, get, they come to power with the complete majority. So, right from the past couple of months, the focus has been uh, on the old Mysore region by the BJP, clearly focusing to win the assembly constituencies and to make inroads into this particular region so that it, uh, you know, it has uh, positive electoral benefits uh, in the run up to the elections. All right, Akshay, thank you so much for joining us and telling us more about and giving us context and telling us more about the significance of that development. Now, with this, we're heading into a very short break, but do stay with us for more.